it's fueled this Tigers offense, which is 11th in the nation in total scoring. Their power play is, it's kind of hit of a, you know, maybe a hiccup over the last few games of the regular season, but it's been steady most of the year. Cross ice feed to Kolovecchia. Kolovecchia feed in front, Meisner the save. And coming up with it is Garbowski. Has foot the official, gets in the way, and that leads to AIC taking it away. And the corner crew murmuring their disapproval. Kolovecchia will bring it right back into the AIC zone and set it up. Back to Noyes. Kolovecchia, cross ice feed to Saraceno. Noise. Noise with the defense starting to collapse. But coming away with it, no. Saraceno will come down and keep it in the zone. One of the defenders without a stick. That's Lewenski. He gets a stick from Fagerhag. Big blast by Saraceno and a goal! And the Tigers lead 1-0. Meisner was shielded. Not only did he have Adam Mitchell in front, but he was, he was contending with Mitchell and Garbowski. Watching him, he was trying to find a window to locate the puck. He could not see this puck at all. He was trying to negotiate Mitchell and Garbowski, looking for a window, and it was just too late. Saraceno with the blast. His 11th of the season, and just like last night, Saraceno started the scoring with a power play goal. Tonight, same deal. Good play by Saraceno to check that one away. Now, nice move by Garbowski. Brings it into the zone. Schuler. Schuler. Great stick in the Schuler right over. Oh, oh, what a goal. Oh, my goodness. Johnny, what can you say about that one? <laughs> that was incredible. It started with Garbowski. Just to pass to Schuler, and then Sidney Crosby. I mean, what a move here by Schuler, not only on the shorthanded goal, but we'll see it here. Watch Karpowski breaks free. Look at that little pass over to Schuler, who then watch this move. Look at that puck handling. Keeps it, and then shuffles it right over to Nolan Dakota, who's sitting there all by himself on the doorstep. Watch this. That's about as pretty as it gets. His Ooh. third of the season. Here's the call from Rocky. Sends it down low to McGowan. McGowan cross ice feed to Garbowski was on the doorstep. Just popped over his stick. AIC coming on out, but Rabel gets back defensively. Here's McGowan. McGowan with an opportunity. Quick shot and a goal! The Tigers! What's that? The knockout punch. It's down four. Nothing. McGowan comes in on that right side. Sets up Miser. Goes, goes to the stick side. Again, the relentless pressure being applied constantly by the Tigers, always on the attack. And this time McGowan gets free, he's got Garbowski with him. And Meisner just, can't, just coming from all angles tonight. And this time it's McGowan. Goes up over the stick of Meisner and four zip looks pretty good for the Tigers. Some of the Tiger gear here, you <laughs> see. <laughs> That's a first, isn't it? Got to keep warm here at the Ritter, John. Yeah, it's 52 degrees is what they <laughs> keep it here at Ritter. So for some, it's a, it's, it's a little chilly. A Tigers lead here, 2-0 after the first 20 minutes of play. Gene Battaglia along with John DiTullio as RIT, Johnny. Well, they got a fortunate break right off the bat, I thought. There's no doubt about it. You, uh, hockey God certainly on the side of not only uh, the Tigers, but certainly the goalie, Jordan Ruby. I mean, this is unbelievable here as Porter's gonna set up for the shot. Hits the right post, left post, and then the bounce comes right back to Ruby. Watch this. The shot, doink, doink, double doink, and then falls right back to him. Because if it doesn't, right there on the doorstep is a, is a, um, it, Pushkar. It, yeah, so Pushkar would have right had there. A, a little poke in. It was just a little Easy. late there, Johnny. So it uh, remains scoreless after that. The double doink, as you would call it. It was double doink. There's no, but just the fact it came right back to Jordan. So, all right. So now you know it's going to be RIT's night.